All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about, um, you know, more sad news in the world of classic rock and doing it in real time for a few real people out there, just like you and me. Sad news, like I say here, as Joe Egan, the remaining half of the band Steelers Wheel, he passed away yesterday at the age of 77. If you're not familiar with Steeler's Wheel, because a lot of time has passed since, uh, what, 1973. So we're talking 51 years ago. And you'll still hear this song on the radio because it's such a great song. Of course, um, I'm talking about Stuck in the Middle with You. Uh, works well as a political song these days. Clowns to the left of me, Jokers to the right. So Egan co-wrote the band's most popular song back in 1973. The song was a top 10 hit, both in the United States and in the UK, reaching number six on the Billboard Hot 100 before um, being used in the 1992 movie Reservoir Dogs. It's always very important to get your song in a movie, right? <laughs> People just... I don't know. It's the only way these days, and that was back in 92, and the song was big in 1973. So 51 years ago, uh, you'll still hear it on the radio. Of course, uh, Steeler's Wheel featured uh, the late, great artistry and vocals of Jerry Rafferty. Um, just as a side note, not much information here about Joe Egan's passing. He was 77. Uh, he passed away peacefully yesterday afternoon with his nearest and dearest around him, according to uh, Jerry Rafferty's uh, official Facebook page, which is being run by his daughter, Martha. Uh, it said here um, that he will always be remembered as a sweet and gentle soul. May he rest in peace. Joe Egan, by the way, tried a solo career, uh, as did jerry rafferty for a number of years highly recommended is joe egan's album entitled map map came out in 1981 and it's really good because he adapts a bit to the sounds of the of the time it kind of you know moves forward and still some great songs some great songwriting great instrumentation uh basically steeler's wheel started out as kind of a folky band. So again, uh, if you're into um, nostalgia or one-hit wonders, certainly Steelers Wheel should be on your list. Uh, they were formed back in 1972 in Paisley, Scotland. By the time their first album came out, uh, Jerry Rafferty had already hit the road. <laughs> but then I'm thinking Rafferty came back. That's what it says here. Uh, because Stuck in the Middle did so well that uh, Rafferty decided to record two more albums with the band in 1973 and then again in 1975. Um, I would go back and listen to those albums if you haven't heard them because they're really good. And then Egan, like I say here, uh, did an album called Out of Nowhere and then the one I'm familiar with called Map. Um Apparently, he uh, he left the music business in the 1990s, and he was uh, running a publishing business from his home uh, in Scotland. So Egan, uh, I don't know about if he's a brilliant guy, but um, certainly he and Jerry Rafferty had some chemistry and a bunch of music that didn't get a lot of exposure, but one song certainly broke through. And, uh, you know, the music industry, even back in those days, very fickle, right? It just, you'll go back and listen to things and you'll wonder, how come they didn't play this on the radio? And I think you'll find both, um, not only this solo Joe Egan, but the Jerry Rafferty material that came out after uh, his big solo album, which I think was 1977 or 1978. Um, and Jerry kept plugging along. He had substance abuse issues, kind of a tortured soul, especially, I guess, toward the end of his life. Uh, Joe Egan followed a bit of a different path, but both of them together 
uh, made some great music uh, with Steeler's Wheel. So our thoughts and prayers go out to the family of Joe Egan, all the fans out there uh, who've been around for 50-something years who enjoyed that song when it came out originally. I was just a little kid when that song came out, but hard to avoid stuck in the middle. And yeah, um, perfect for a political campaign maybe in the year 2024 with uh, clowns to the left of me and jokers to the right. So there you have it, folks. Um, Joe Egan, uh, dead at age uh, 77. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone, and uh, I will talk to you soon.